Sub two minutes for Danielle Brandon. I would like to report a crime because Danielle Brandon just murdered this event. You knew him as a teen. Now you know him as an individual. Dallin Pepper is going to the CrossFit Games. 143.91 seconds. So right now, they leave in a week. A little bit of intensity is okay, but we don't need to mix intensity and a ton of volume right now. They're really not gonna get any fitter, right? Being smart with intensity and being smart with volume is vital right now. You ready to get judged? Okay, good, all right, let's do it. <laughs> I would say this year there's a lot more specific work. I feel much more prepared as far as pacing, how to approach workouts, just like a lot more focused. A successful trip would be to be steady um, and consistent emotionally and physically. Specifically, I look forward to like swimming and the longer events. My mental game has improved a lot since last year. I feel a lot more confident going into workouts and just feel more prepared. You hit this, I'll hit it. No warm up. You feel bad for me? You should have seen my jumps when I was actually working out. I would just jump up by 90 pounds every time until I got to 315. I only did that once ever, and then it ended my career. <laughs> Two minute ski at an aerobic pace. The aerobic pace is not gonna be something that is super easy. Uh, but it shouldn't get them into an anaerobic state, right? So a presence of uh, without oxygen, right? You can only hold that for so long, then it gets really bad. From there, we're gonna have someone front rack yoke carry. The front rack yoke carry, it's pretty tough on the upper back, so it forces you to uh, hold a really good position on that. One person's gonna be doing handstand walk on the obstacle course that you'll see them starting to pull down here. Danielle, really good on her hands, really good on the handstand course. That's not something I really need to see from her. So we're gonna give her more uh, skill development work and strength work with a strict knees to elbow. And they're gonna do that six times. We'll go uh, yoke or ramp on this side. And then yoke ramp on this way, and I'll take off. I'll take it on and off for you. Add a sandbag in the middle of the two of them. Yeah. Okay. That's true. That seems like it's easier to move. <laughs> this is a great idea. So while she's doing that, you could be here, and then we'll flip flop when you're there. She'll be here. What's her rest? Easy to go. One, two, three. Okay. So we made a little change to the workout here. I want to put more of her focus and priority on ski. That aerobic pace that we we're talking about. Now she's. I put the ski last for her, so she's going into it with a little bit more fatigue, trunk fatigue from holding that yoke, and from going into that uh, knees to elbow as well. Where Dallin, the change we made with him is, I want him going fresh into this handstand walk because it's a high skill handstand walk. So he's starting with that every time, and then he's going ski, and then he's going into uh, the yoke carry. So this is much better, I like it. Progression since Wadapalooza. I feel like we've been extremely intentional in the way we approach every single thing we need to get better at, and we're taking notes from last year's semis, Wadapalooza, and all of that. We're very analytical in the approach we take, and I feel like we've made more progress in the last seven months than we have in the last two years since I aged out of the team division. I'm excited for a big gymnastics test uh, just because I'm a bigger athlete. I'm excited for a big running event. We got a running event at semifinals 
but not like a pure running event where I really want to see where I stack up and how much progress I've made there. And there's really cool styles they can do with the games with running. I feel like I can compete with anyone at the CrossFit Games. I belong there just as much as them. Number one goal is top 10. Number two goal, learn as much as I can to take into the next season for the next year and find as many data points as we can. Keys to success to get top 10 is execute, kind of like how I did at semifinals, like try and be as flawless as I can in my execution and that's just where I'm going to end up on the leaderboard if I can execute everything perfectly and get the most out of each workout. That'll put me in the best place to reach that goal and then being present and aware of what's going on throughout the entire competition on and off the floor will help me learn what we need to do for next year. Really good on the paces. That pace right there that you guys can hold, you can go off and do everything. You could do chest to bars and rings and whatever. Just know that the faster you go, the more rest you're gonna need elsewhere. If we're holding a thousand meter row, that's gonna be a smart pace. If we're going like 200s to 300s, go a little bit quicker, right? That was really good.